of the working man. I've worked uh, pretty much physical jobs all my life and there's always this thread of, uh, of dialogue and judgment that goes through every job about who's working harder. Uh, I've worked, you know, commission jobs, you know, as a bike messenger, and uh, who's working harder could you know, almost be uh, uh, quantified. Um, you could say so-and-so is doing X amount of deliveries uh, on average per hour. But my advice to... Uh, the working man is uh, do not try to be um, the hardest worker or the fastest worker. Um, you know, maybe maybe be the most efficient you could be, but that's the thing. Be the most efficient you can be. Don't try to like get into this uh, pyramid and uh, want you don't want to be you want to be the top block. I would suggest you just want to be the block you are, and you just want to be the best you can be. I think that uh, I've watched, I've worked in a lot of construction jobs, and I've watched people not make it a construction season. Because um, they were really busting their hump, and people really appreciate it, and they made some good money, uh, and then their back went out, and, uh, you know, that was pretty much, they were done. Um, especially uh, the chances of you getting hired back on a job that following year when they remember you made it through half the year. Uh, before you're injured, they might just say they don't have room for you. So that it was awesome that you really went, you know, all gung ho at the start, but uh, it didn't get you anywhere, and it really doesn't get didn't get that construction company uh, m anywhere anyway. So uh, here's the thing: uh, once uh, I heard somebody describe what they thought was as the perfect employee. And it was described as they're here all the time, they do a good job, and they don't complain. <laughs> so, uh, and, you know, f one further question, I'll summarize. Uh, they actually th wanted a bunch of that guy. They didn't, I mean, there are other people that were just excellent at their job. They really were producing almost twice the amount of output that uh, most people did. So you'd think, oh well, if you have 20 workers and you had 10 of those, um, maybe uh, isn't that what isn't that the perfect worker? But no, because um, doing twice as much often leads to uh, mistakes, often leads to injuries. You know, if if that was per person was being that awesome, still working with inside their parameters, um, you know, like you know, my working hard, my doing a good job. Um, I could keep that up month after month, uh, year after year. I'm not, I'm not going so flat out that there's a chance that uh, uh, I'm going to do something that seriously injures me. Um, but that, that was the other thing. It's like anyone working uh, to that degree, especially if it's beyond what they could just kind of like maintain over a period of time, uh, they end up calling in sick. They end up getting injured. Um, and they're also the kind of people that were kind of like, well, I wouldn't have to do so much if so-and-so would work harder. And, uh, you know, like, then the complaints start. So, yeah, my advice to the working man, show up every day, do just a good job. You want a good job done. You get a, a, a good day's pay for a good day's work. Because no one's going to overpay you, trust me. <laughs> and, uh, and don't complain. If you have uh, if you have suggestions, um, especially you could back them up in a way you're like, I think that the company is is wasting money on this. That's when your suggestions get listened to. Uh, but uh, mostly, you know, keep your head down, do a good job, and uh, focus on what's important to you, and uh, making suggestions that make your life better. What you could be doing with your free time and your weekends, and uh, and how you're going to invest and spend your money. Um, that then that's your chance to be great. <laughs> yeah. All right, working man. It's been a pleasure to work with you all these years, and uh, I really admire uh, so much about what makes you a great working man. And um, proud to, proud to hang uh, my hard hat uh, next year's. 
All right. I'll see you on the, I'll see you on the construction site.